All right, everyone. Hello and welcome to another elevator part video. Today, we're going to be wiring this mad elevator button. Let's go ahead and get started. So this here is a surface mount panel that you would see in a modernization. And this was given to me by Paul. So Paul, huge thank you for this button. And today we're going to wire it up and make it work. So this thing is pretty big and it's pretty awesome. In case of fire, elevators are out of service. It's got the uh, little flame thing here, use the exit. We've got two buttons here, up and down obviously. If we turn it over to the back, here's the mounting bracket. And it even has the little screw which holds the mounting bracket in place. So to get inside to work on this thing, we have to take it out of the mounting bracket. And if we look on the very bottom here, we've got this little screw. So we can use this little T10 screwdriver bit and turn it and open this thing up. Once you remove this one little screw, you can see the bracket pops down like that. And if you lift it off, there's the mounting bracket there. And here we have the panel. So on the back here, we can see where the little flame icon is mounted on here. We have the little MAD logo, and look at that. Scan QR code to order parts. So if you want MAD parts, there you go. <laughs> uh, but anyway, for the actual base here, interesting, we have some uh, Velcro here, which will be useful for putting a battery on. And it looks like we've got some wires in here. Not really sure what these are. We're probably gonna take these off and reuse them. So we've got two DMG bases here. We can see they are both red and they're 24 volts. They should run on nine just fine. Just like any DMG base, if you wanna take it off, you pull down on it and lift up and it comes right off. So this one appears to have two small micro switches in it. And then we have the actual button, which is screwed into the base here. And if we wanted to take this off, we would unscrew this ring and push it out. So these are easy buttons to switch out, work on, and configure. Not really sure what this little plastic thing here is in the middle, but we can leave it there. It's not really in the way. So let's go ahead and get started with wiring this thing. So I'm just going to use this already existing positive wire and add my battery pack on here. So next what I'm going to do is hook up the negative of the battery and this little wire that I took off of here to our common two, and then attach the same wire to the common two of the other button. And now all that's left to do is take these little wires and connect them from the negative end to the NO2 of each switch, just like that. And now we need to hook up the battery and check it out. And we can see when I push the buttons, they both light up. All right, the buttons put back together and there we go. You can see it works and they both light up. So that was a little video on wiring these mad elevator buttons. Again, a huge thank you to Paul for this button. It's very awesome and I really appreciate it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next time.